What's going on guys? Welcome back to iTrust Stream. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about extreme codes and this is a follow-up from my last previous video. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video about this topic with extreme codes, take the time and go ahead and watch that. I'm gonna link everything inside of the description below. In today's video, we'll be talking about extreme codes and yes, it is officially shut down, but will IPTV live for another day? We're gonna talk about this coming up. Welcome back to iTrust Stream, guys. I do appreciate you guys following up with me on this topic. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on the video. If this is your first time, uh, go ahead and comment below what you think about today's video. Okay, so Extreme Codes, it's still down. Yeah, it, you know, name of the game, uh, Extreme Codes has been shut down. It's gonna be down. It's not gonna be coming back. And, uh, it, you know, it is a sad thing. You know, if you guys are not familiar with Extreme Codes, if you guys do have IPTV services, Extreme Codes is a CMS uh, panel. And if you guys don't know what CMS means, it's a customer management system which communicates the customer to the uh, to the IPTV provider, which creates lines, which creates activation lines for mag devices. It's a way for us to be able to transfer our streams to an M3U format so we could uh, give it to a potential client. So that gives you your own you're pretty much your own ID to be able to watch the streams from the servers. So why did 90%, like at least almost 90% of IPTV providers use Extreme Codes? Well, Extreme Codes was 100% best in the game. Hands down, best in the game, everyone used it because it could handle the amount of servers that a lot of the top 5% IPTV providers had. Everyone used Extreme Codes. There's other panels like, you know, Megaware and there's other uh, and there's other smaller panels that, you know, we're not going to mention their names, but they cannot obtain the amount of uh, the amount of power to be able to uphold for hundreds of thousands of clients. So anyways, talking about extreme codes and the reason why we are on this topic, because with our services, a lot of people were asking why was stream still on? but they can't go and renew. We took down the option for us to be able to take payments from our clients during this time, or during that time, I'm sorry. So you guys can't go and uh, pay for your guys' bill because we, we weren't able to go in there and create a login for you or go in there and be able to renew an account. A lot of people that had IPTV services, they just pretty much took their stuff and ran. I'm not gonna name them, but a lot of people got scared, which are still online. <laughs> they're still <laughs> they're still online uh, talking about the whole subject, but all of your clients that are looking for an answer from you guys, and there hasn't been any statements, nor on your guys' websites. On our websites, what we stated, just I, I can only talk for us, and the reason why is because that is the way to be able to communicate with clients. So everyone wants to know answers of why they couldn't pay their bill and why they couldn't uh, like you know renew or even purchase services because a lot of the services went 100% down. Well, you, uh, with Extreme Codes, that was the panel for us to be able to create the logins, to, uh, to renew the accounts, to update your guys' accounts, to create the M3Us, to connect the mag devices, to connect the streams to the client. That's why the, the extreme codes is, was, was pretty much everything. So the, the topic of today is will, <laughs> due to extreme codes being down, will IPTV live on? Yes. The reason why they didn't connect because uh, extreme codes doesn't host any or, or provide any IPTV links. Those come from providers that IPTV owners pay for. So they connected to the server. We just, they just use the extreme codes as, uh, as, as the dock to be able to connect everything together. The streams that have the M3Us and the lines created were still existing because they're being broadcasted through the server. So if the extreme codes goes down, well, we don't really need it because we already had the M3 created. So that's why everyone's streams are still up, but they couldn't. So this is why they couldn't pay their bills because we couldn't go over there and reattach it. So everything was done on the back end, but like we said before, we, we connected our, a lot of the people, a lot of um, 
And I'm not saying a lot. I know that everyone called me out for like, oh, there's a lot of people coming together. No, there is core groups and then there's there's friends upon friends. So our, our friends were friends with so-and-so, our friends were fr so-and-so, and kind of put our heads together to kind of figure out a script to be able to complete it so we can actually go and take payments from everyone. Yeah, that is 100% true. And you know what? It was done. So. If you guys are familiar with Glitch TV, it's pretty much our main IPTV uh, service that we do provide for everyone here on iTrustStream. That one is now accept now the website is now accepting payments. So if you guys are Glitch members, you guys can go to the website and be able to do that because we have another panel. That's all it was. It wasn't the servers are down or the uh, the the channel provider is gone. No, it was literally just a CMS tool. So so will you adapt? Yeah. Did they have an opportunity to take out IPTV service all completely? 100%. They had an opportunity, but they missed the mark. And thank God, because for IPTV providers, you can still continue to be able to provide services to the to to everyone at home. So uh, to kind of go back on the topic was. Is this going to be the end of IPTV? No, there's plenty of services that are out there that have been communicating with their clients and saying, hey, this is the this is the reason why it's been down. But it just it all comes down to communication. And it's literally having a chat room, having some form of email capture to be able to or email system to be able to talk to your guys as clients and, and send out a mass email. I don't personally do that. We do have like a like a group chat to where we kind of discuss everything. We kind of message in there and say, hey, this is what's going on. This is the time frame that trend we're trying to work with but with my team with everything that has been going down i hate to pat myself on the back again but seriously i have we have this the best team you know everyone feels like they have the best team but when it comes to like having stuff prepared and, and just the communication between everyone just to make sure that everything is going accordingly it, it it's been we had everything completely done within five days and that's pretty good yeah it's a long five days but Nate, for you to not be able to pay your bill but making sure everything was done, crossing our T's, dotting our I's, because we're talking about people's money here, and we want to be able, we want to make sure that we're we're doing it and being honest and being um, being truthful with everyone. And, and this, I I don't turn on the camera just to talk smack. I I turn on the camera when there's everything that's in line, and here it is. I don't just go there and just try to broadcast news and and just saying, guess what, new update, guess a new update. There's plenty of of uh, YouTubers are out there that they, they post daily every single day and they have a you know, news update, news update. They're like a, like a blogger style. So uh, there's, uh, you know, I tip my hat to those type of people that actually are consistent, but that's that's the, that's how they make their bread and butter, you know, with their affiliates and stuff like that. So just to make a long story short, and I wanted to make it short and sweet to everyone that's on YouTube that's been watching on YouTube, looking kind to see what's going on will iptv die it's not dying today so it's it's continually it's still going it's because of the way that stuff is handled the servers with the streams and how everything connects using the cms tool uh as a as a docker to be able to to create the lines to renew the accounts so as of right now glitch iptv.com is is up taking payments and be able to renew your guys' accounts now we have a resellers, uh, uh, we have a reseller uh, IPTV service that's called Society that offers rebranding. That one it will be done within the week. So making sure everything was done with Glitch and the team, and now then Society can come right after and be able to handle those because it's a little bit different when it comes to having resellers. So if you guys are Society members, that is coming. If you guys are part of the group chat, make sure to add yourself to the group chat because you'll see it on the post exactly what's going on. Everything's being communicated to everyone. So that's coming. But I just wanted to be able to turn the camera on to let you guys know of how things are, how things work when it comes to IPTV, that everything has a purpose and has a and has a meaning behind it. So if there is the streams being connected to the to the uh, to the server and also to the client. M3Us, once they're already there, unless those servers go down, that M3U will still play. And then you have logins to the to the accounts. Uh, you have logins to the, the, the branded apps. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know exactly how these things operate. As of right now, Extreme Codes won't be coming back. There are cracked versions of it. Uh, there's the super old versions that they can't even connect to, like 
to, they would have to connect to like the original players. There's the what we call Mickey Mouse panels, and we're not using no Mickey Mouse panel. These are 100% custom made, and hate to say it to you guys, and there's a lot of freaking people that that has doubted, and. I'm not here to try to make a video and to prove everyone wrong. It's not has nothing to do with that because it's the end user. It's the end user that we're trying to communicate with. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, hit that like button for me. Smash it if you guys could. Make sure you turn on that post notifications so you never miss out on a video. And guys, the reason why I ask you to turn on that post notifications because in my next video. We're going to announce something very, very special that's going to be happening here on iTrust Stream that just happened. If you guys don't know what just happened, just go ahead and check out on the channel. Look at the number that we're currently at right now. That's what just happened. Something fantastic is coming to the channel and I want you guys to be prepared for it. And I just want to thank you guys all that have been sticking with me for the last two years here on YouTube. And uh, it's truly you guys and supporters that have gotten us to this place. So as a thank you, I have something special in my next video that I want to share with you guys. Again, uh, I do appreciate you guys watching today's video. Hope I gave you guys a little insight of what's been going on. If you guys are currently interested in checking out the links below, go ahead and do that. And also, if you guys want to follow up on the video that came before this one, there's a video that, that I did uh, that just recently a few days ago when this first thing, the, if you want the backstory of what really kind of happened with Extreme Codes, go ahead and watch that video. It's going to be at the top of the, this, of the description below. Again, this is iTrust Stream, and until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Later.